Hey YouTube, it's me, Brianna. So I haven't filmed a new vlog since moving into my apartment, which is crazy because that was way back in February, and it is now July, so I thought it was about time I remedy that situation. Today's vlog is brought to you all by True Crime Magazine. They are the leading publisher of true crime and murder memorabilia facts, figures, articles, and all that sort of thing. They have some great features coming up, including a feature about Ian Brady, murder memorabilia in general, Jeffrey Dahmer, and my personal favorite, 10 Things You Didn't Know About Ted Bundy. So if you're a fan of true crime like I am, and you also love spooky things, make sure you subscribe to them right now. I'm a subscriber, and I have been for a while, and I am so, so excited when a new issue comes out. I know you guys will be too. Today, I just thought I'd talk a little about some of my favorite cases. Most of you know I was very excited when Joseph James D'Angelo was caught. He was the Golden State Killer and the East Area Rapist. And for a long time, that case was my favorite unsolved mystery, and that's the one that I pulled out whenever people ask me what case I would most like to see solved. However, now that he has been caught, I'm having to choose a new unsolved case to say that's my favorite at parties or otherwise when people ask me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to present some of my favorite unsolved mysteries and favorite cases of late. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the Diatlov Pass incident. Um, this is going to be a very, very brief overview. I covered it pretty extensively in one of my blog posts, which I will also link below. It involves a group of Russian hikers, researchers, and scientists who climbed up into the mountains of Russia and stayed in this area called Dyatlov Pass, which Dyatlov is Russian for devil. And some pretty, pretty, pretty freaky shit happened. They all kind of were found really brutally murdered or dead the next day. I won't say murdered because it was never the cause of death was never really determined, but there was a lot of paradoxical undressing that is often linked to hypothermia. Um, there were people who just sort of had a lot of radiation poisoning and burns that didn't make sense. Anyway, if you're not familiar with uh, Diatlov Pass and that whole incident, I definitely recommend you check it out. Incidentally, there's also a movie called uh, Devil's Pass that is a found footage horror movie that I also highly recommend. I don't know how factual it is, but it is a lot of fun. So definitely look into that one if, if this case interests you like it does me. Another case I'm really interested in is obviously the Zodiac Killer. With D'Angelo being caught, I'm pretty certain this is one that will also get solved in the next few years because of DNA evidence and just it's so exciting to live in a time when people like the Golden State Killer are finally getting taken down, and I really, really hope that I also live to see the Zodiac get taken down in the same manner as well. Another case I'm really interested in is the murder or the strange death of Elisa Lamb. She was last seen at a hotel in California that I have also conveniently forgotten the name of at the moment, but we'll leave again in the description bar. She was pretty young. She's a student from Canada. She just wanted to travel on her own and ended up in California. She was observed behaving erratically, darting in and out of elevators, looking like she was playing hide and seek with someone that you can't see. She was also apparently off her meds at the time, so I'm not sure how much of that is responsible for her breakdown and subsequent death. But I would really like to know what happened with that because it seems like there's a lot more to the story than what we've been led to believe. And the last one I'm gonna mention you know, I could go on all day about Unsolved Mysteries, but I'm really interested in Jack the Ripper, even though that happened so long ago. I don't know that we'll ever catch him, but while I was studying abroad in London, some of you know I had the opportunity to go on a Jack the Ripper um, ghost tour. It was really just a walking tour where they talked about the murders, but we got to go to some of the murder scenes, and even though it happened so long ago, it is still super eerie to stand in a place where these poor women were just you know, torn down and ripped apart and just mutilated beyond all belief. I'm not sure how I feel about, there's a prevalent theory that it was a woman, and I just don't think a woman could carry out those acts. I do believe that it could have been maybe more than one person, but I don't know how much speculation is really going to get us, considering the fact that it, this was hundreds of years ago, and like I said, the person is dead, they are the only ones who know for sure that they did it, and I'm not sure, unfortunately, that that is a case that will ever get solved. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, thumbs up, and subscribe. For those of you interested in subscribing to True Crime Magazine like I am, please, please, please check out the link in the description bar below, and 
check out that unique coupon code that those guys were kind enough to generate for me and my fans. I will see you all next week, hopefully, God willing, with a fresh new vlog. Sorry for the long hiatus, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!